If what you do matters, the data platform supporting your business should support the scale of your business. Whether you're caring for 10 million patients, processing billions of orders a day, tracking a galaxy of stars, or monitoring a thousand factory engines, each of these business-specific workloads represents a different challenge. For example, suppose one workload involves a thousand small transactions per second, while another handles 10 very large queries per hour. It's hard to say which is more demanding or how to scale to meet those demands. Each workload has two components that can be independently scaled, user volume and data volume. By considering these separately, we can evaluate some scaling options. The standard way of addressing more demanding workloads is by scaling vertically. In essence, this means making your server more powerful so it can keep up with the workload. For example, if your server's cache isn't big enough, you can add more memory. Vertical scaling is architecturally straightforward and can be very effective. But premium hardware comes at a premium price. Correct sizing can be difficult in a dynamically growing business, and scaling up your server means adapting your software to the added capacity. One such adaptation implemented by InterSystems is parallel query execution, which helps our platform take effective advantage of large core counts, built on a flexible infrastructure that maximizes CPU usage by spawning one process per CPU core. This vertical scalability feature is most effective with heavy data volumes, such as analytic queries that make large aggregations. When further vertical scaling is not the answer, data platforms can also be scaled horizontally by clustering a number of smaller servers. That way, you can simply add more servers as your workload grows. Scaling with commodity hardware can be less expensive than premium equipment. Horizontal scaling also fits very well with virtual and cloud infrastructure. Additional nodes can be quickly provisioned as needed, or decommissioned if the workload decreases. Horizontal clusters do require significantly more advanced software. Let's take a look at how InterSystems Iris Data Platform addresses both user and data volume. First, consider a situation in which the number of users grows continually until it gets too big to handle with a single system at an acceptable cost. To address this horizontally, we can partition the user workload by connecting user requests to different compute nodes. Grouping users with similar requests on the same node provides further improvement through distributed caching in which users can take advantage of each other's caches. InterSystems IRIS Data Platform provides an effective way to accomplish this through ECP, or Enterprise Cache Protocol. By managing a distributed cache, ECP lets you partition users across application servers sitting in front of your data server. Each application server has its own cache, which is automatically synchronized with the data server. So you can add more servers to handle more users. Of course, this is all entirely transparent to the user and the application. Now let's turn to horizontally scaling data volume. Today's data volumes can be very large, and if they are queried repeatedly, the working set can outgrow the server's cache, which is very bad for performance. In this case, we can horizontally scale the data platform by partitioning the data volume. InterSystems Iris Data Platform achieves this through its sharding capability. Sharding partitions a table by row into small pieces which are distributed across a number of data nodes. Queries against the table are decomposed into multiple subqueries to be run in parallel on the shard servers. The results are then combined and returned to the user. With sharding, the cache's size is scaled horizontally. Adding a shard server means adding dedicated cache for more data. As with ECP, sharding is entirely transparent. A flexible data platform should let you scale independently for both user and data volume. And InterSystems Iris does just that. For example, if you use sharding to scale your data volume, you can add ECP application servers to scale your user volume as well. InterSystems Iris Data Platform. Scaling with you as you grow. Because what you do matters.